Hello, in this video I want to show you how to collect anthropometric data of your own hands. That's data based on measurements. So here you can see I've got a palm drawn out um, with uh, lines that indicate the measurements and then it's all tabulated. To start that, uh, take a blank piece of paper or be on a blank page and use your less dominant hand. For me, that's my left hand. And then carefully draw around it. You probably have done this in primary school. I'm going to do it very quickly. And the key with this is to make sure your pencil is totally upright. Notice how upright my pencil is, it does not move from that upright position. When you get to around here, it would stop, and palms just sort of curve around. Um, so I'm just gonna imagine where that's gonna go. It might go in, out again, and then back out. Right, once you've done that, the first measurement I want is the actual total height of the, the hand. Now, the, I could measure it with a ruler, but that's quite tricky. So the easiest thing to do is to draw a line out to the bottom, some, somewhere around the bottom of the palm, and then get it lined up with the very top of the finger, line out here, and I'm just gonna measure that distance. And now, if I do a straight line here, what I'd like to do is also add arrowheads. Now I can see there, it's about 200 millimetres. All uh, right, distance A equals 200 millimetres. Now, the second measurement I want is the actual height of the palm. Now, again, I could put my ruler on. This might be a bit tricky. So what I'm going to do is actually go from the bottom of the middle finger. I'm going to do a little dash out here. So that would be in line. And then I'm just going to go straight down. Again, adding my arrowheads here and here. And that is measurement B. And for me, that is uh, about 11 and a half centimetres. So I'm going to say 115 millimetres. The third measurement, we're going to go for the thumb. Uh, for this, you, you will actually have to put your ruler on your hand. A bit, of a bit of guesswork, but what you should do is go from the tip of the thumb to where it bends, which is around here. And I'm going to say that that for me is about seven centimeters, 70 mil. Uh, and drawing this on, I would do a flat line there and then do your uh, line. Let's just double check the measurement there. To 70 millimeters for me. You should have a flat end there. This is C, 70 millimeters. You're also gonna do that for your index finger. Again, I would just put your ruler on your hand, go from the tip of your index finger to around the point that it bends. And that, for me, uh, it's about 80, 75 millimeters, 80 millimeters. So that would be the index finger. And then the last one would be the height of the palm. Uh, so width of the palm, which is from this point here to the other side. Looks like it's about 100 mil for me. So you'll end up with it uh, drawn something like this. I've added the measurement for my index finger here and the width of the palm, and then put it in a table. This table has titled anthropometric data of the hands, or you can call it anthropometric data of people's hands. I've got six columns. Uh, each of these is three centimeters wide, and I've got seven rows. And that's enough to have the word person, and then A, B, C, D, E. The person I've measured is me, and then I put my numbers there. And then I've got five boxes here to put other people's names and other people's measurements. And then finally, I'm just gonna calculate the average. And the average would be adding all of these A measurements up and then dividing it by five, because I've measured five people. So once you've done that page, it will look something like that and you can share the information amongst yourselves to collect a range of sizes. Okay, good luck.